Hello, welcome back to Diana's Kitchen. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you to all my subscribers. Today, I'm going to bake cranberry bread. So, since I went to cranberry farm a few days ago, I will show you how to make cranberry bread. So let's do it. Join me. Here we go. Here are all the ingredients that we're going to need for the cranberry bread. First, we need four cups of all purpose, purpose flour sifted. We need one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoon of baking soda, three teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of walnuts, one cup of butter into cubes, two eggs, four cups of cranberry, and I'm going to chop this. And then we need one and a half cup of fresh orange juice squeezed, or you can just buy the regular orange juice from the grocery store. And I'm also gonna need the peel of the orange grated about one tablespoon. Okay, let's do it. Let's start. So I mixed all, I mixed all the dry ingredients. I put the uh, baking powder, baking soda, and the salt, so, and the sugar. I said we're gonna add the butter. The butter, you add the butter. Okay, need a fork to uh, mix the butter slowly get it in there if you have the uh, the proper tool you can use that too but this is okay too so we're gonna try and mix the butter with the flour and then sometimes I just use my hand I go like this I'll show you See right there. Can you use your hands? Because you you really need to mix it nicely. Here's the uh, butter. I mixed them all up. I had to mix them really good. So here we go. So we're ready. I'm gonna start adding the liquid. I'm gonna rind the whole peel of the orange. So I need about tablespoon. So now I have the two whole eggs. I'm gonna beat the egg. I'm gonna put the uh, orange peel, about tablespoon or the whole peel of orange. So you mix them all there. I'm ready to put the liquid. I get the eggs, the orange, orange juice, and the uh, peel of the and then just mix them all up first thing first is you combine all the dry ingredients and you sift it so now nice fold this nicely See here. And then you add your cranberries i chop the cranberries so add them all up in there combine them Have my one cup of wal chopped walnuts all in there. It smells so nice. I can smell the orange, fresh squeezed orange. And if you haven't seen my uh, vlog of the uh, cranberry farms, it's there on my YouTube. We had so much fun in Muskoka. So anyhow, this is ready to go usually good for christmas morning you can have it with your 
breakfast or you can have it with your tea you can eat it for snack if whatever you want to do with it so i have i put a parchment paper on the loaf pan baking pan this recipe you need two loaf pan baking pan okay so now we put it here you know i'm putting the parchment paper so that when it's done it doesn't stick at the bottom so this is two loaves so i'm even you have to even it out looks like it's good so they're ready to go in the oven checked it and it's all done all cut in the middle spread. okay it's all done let it cool before you uh, start slicing it hope you will try it try this easy recipe and see you next time on the next cooking show or baking show okay don't forget to subscribe share my video like my video or leave me comments on what you want me to cook okay thank you very much goodbye